Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and to another video. In this video, we will see an example of the various ways we have in FreeCAD to create a 3D model like this. Tools like Sketch, Extrude, Active and Subtractive Cylinder are the tools we will see on this video. And also an example of how to manipulate the attachment offset of a sketch. First of all, start a new document, press empty file. On the part time or page, by default, before we start modeling a 3D model, we have first to create a body object. That object will store all information related to the solid creation. To create that object, we have to find its icon here and click on it. Now, with this body object, we can start modeling the 3D model, creating this cylinder without this hole here. To create this cylinder, we have two ways. The first way is to create a sketch and then extrude that sketch using the pet tool. Let's create a sketch. Just go to this icon, click on this icon and select XY plane for this first sketch. And next, we on the sketch workbench. Go to sketch jumps and select cycle tool and start the cycle exactly here on the region axis. Click off. Use the dimension tool to set the diameter of this cycle. Just click off and the diameter of this cycle we have to set 18 millimeters. Set 18 and close this sketch and now we have this. Now to extrude this sketch we have to click on this icon, the pad tool. And the length of this extrusion must be 15 millimeters and the next press enter and here we have this first hold. Now, if we want to use the another way, we have to select this pad operation and delete it, and also this sketch, select and delete. And to create the cylinder, we can use a additive cylinder tool available here on these tools. Just click here in this arrow and select additive cylinder option. And here we have the cylinder, and the first thing that we have to do is to select the plane for the cylinder. Select XY plane and next change the radius to 90 millimeters because we have a diameter of 18 millimeters as you see here on the string page. And the next height must be 15 millimeters and to finish this just click OK. And here we have this cylinder. OK, now that we have this cylinder, let's create this hole here. To create this hole, we have several options. The first one is to create a sketch on the bottom face, this bottom face here, and then use the pocket tool to remove material on this cylinder. Just select this bottom face and then create a sketch. And what to do here, go to sketch geometries and select cycle tool, click on this origin axis and set a diameter of 16 millimeters for the cylinder as we see here. And then skip two times to leave this sketch and next use the pocket tool to create the hole. What I have to do now is to set the correct length of this hole. As you see, we have a thickness of 1 mm for this part here and a height of 15 mm. So the length here must be 14 mm and OK. And here we have this. And now the another option is to use the hole tool. Go to the model tab, select the pocket operation, delete, and also the sketch, delete. And now if we rotate the model, we can see this. Now just select this face here, this bottom face, and next use the hole tool to create a hole. What you have to do on this task panel is to set a diameter to 16 millimeters and the depth to 14 millimeters. And now if we rotate this, we can see that we have some problems here. This happens because the drill point is set to angle it. If we go to the task panel and scroll down to drill point, we can see here that we have this. Just select flat and this will be fixed. Scroll up now and click OK and here we have the hole. The another option is to use the subtractive cylinder tool to create a hole. Select this whole operation and delete and next what to do just go to subtractive tools these tools here click on this arrow and you have to find this option subtractive cylinder just click on this option select the xy plane first change to the front view now and let's set a height to 14 millimeters 
as you can see we have this next the radius to 8 millimeters and click off and now just press ok and rotate the model as you see here we have the hole and another way is to use the thickness tool select this cylinder the subtractive cylinder operation and delete it and next select this bottom face and now the thickness tool and as default the thickness is set to one millimeter so we don't have problems here just press ok to finish this and here we have this hole and now that we have this it's time to create this fillet here with a result of 0.5 millimeters as you see to do that we can select this top face here or we can select the circular edge and then fillet tool and here we have the fillet what i have to do now is to change here to 0.5 millimeters and then press ok and it's all okay now that we have this it's time to create this blade here we have first to create this blade and then create a polar array of this blade okay to create this blade we have first to create a sketch we have to create a sketch exactly 0.5 millimeters after this edge here let's do that go to the document we have first to select this face here and create a sketch on this face click on create sketch icon and here what to do we can go to sketch geometries and use a centered rectangle tool to create the geometry as you can see we can create this geometry here using a rectangle tool let's do that go to sketch geometries click on this arrow and select this option centered rectangle click here on the vertical axis and now just click off and zoom in now select the external jump tool and extract the circular edge here and now just use the constraint constant click on this icon select this point here and now the circular edge and here we have this okay no problems here next we have to select the dimension tool and set the thickness or the width of this rectangle just click here on this line and click off and the length here as we can see is 0.8 millimeters so let's set that length set 0.8 and enter click on this point here uh, now click on the horizontal axis and the length here must be 25 millimeters set 25 and enter and here we have this now close this sketch and press home change to the right view now that we have this as you can see this sketch here is attached on this face here and we have to move this sketch here to this edge 0.5 millimeters after this face here the way to do that is to change the z duration the z placement on the attachment offset so select the sketch on the tree view and now go to its parameters and go to attachment click on this arrow attachment offset go to position and z position just change here to minus 0.5 millimeters and as you can see now we have the sketch here on this edge and it's okay with this sketch selected let's use this tool here to create the salt just click here on this icon press home now and as you can see we have some problems here and the way to solve this is to first set the correct axis so in this model we have to set the z axis for this operation just go to the test panel, find the axis option, click here and select Z axis. And here we have this. And also we can see that the duration of this operation is going up. So we need to check the reverse the option and here we have this. The next thing that we have to do is to set the pitch and the height for this operation. Here we have 100 and here we have 14 millimeters and click off and here we have this okay now just press ok to finish this and here we have our first blade the next thing to do is to create a polar array of these objects around this part here to do that we'll use the polar pattern tool 
select this operation and next click on this icon polar pattern and scroll down to occurrence and just change here to seven occurrence and here we have this okay now just press ok and it's all so we finished the design of this model thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please don't forget to leave a like share this video and also if you want to support the content of the channel there's a link available in the video description to the channel's Skyfy page or you can buy the ebooks that is appearing on the screen now and that way you will be supporting the channel thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video thank you